안녕하세요. Today we'll be learning about the Korean War that lasted to 1950 to 1953. So I have a personal story to tell. It was about my great grandmother. Uh, she didn't serve in the war, but she was in the conflict of the war. So she was in North Korea at the time. And it was more dangerous in North Korea because, you know, <laughs> it's a little more violent up there. So she had to flee to North Korea. She had to flee down to South Korea to get safe. Um, she, she was young back then and she had to carry all her luggage on her head. And she had to carry her two three month old siblings by their hand. They didn't really have much food or water. They had to make it down all the way to Korea for weeks on end. So when they eventually reached South Korea, you should probably believe how relieved they were. Um, my mom and dad also met in Korea. So Korea is a special place. <laughs> okay, so here comes a big lecture. <laughs> The Korean War began on June 25th, 1950 and ended on July 27, 1953, around three years long. The Korean War was a war against North and South Korea. It started when North Korea invaded South Korea. When World War II ended, the United States and the Soviet Union freed Korea from imperial Japanese control on August 15, 1945. After the war ended, Korea was divided at the 38th parallel in two zones. The Soviets took the northern half and the Americans claimed the southern half. This division led to another war, the Cold War, when the Soviet Union and the United States went to war. The Korean War is also named as the Forgotten War because it was in between World War III and the Cold War. Um, so, yeah, the north half of Korea was established as a socialist state under the communi communist leadership of Kim Il-sung. The southern half declared a capitalist state under the anti-communist leader, Sing Wen ri Both governments of the two new Korean states claimed to be the sole legitimate government of all Korea. And they both agreed that the border would not be permanent. I don't know if that was a threat or not. <laughs> The conflict quickly escalated into warfare. This happened when the North Korean military, who was supported by China and the Soviet Union, crossed the border into South Korea on June 25, 1950, the day that the war started. The United Nations Security, Con Con <laughs> United Nations Security Council ordered the United Nations Command's formation and the dispatch of forces to Korea to repel what was recognized as the North Korean invasion. 21 countries of the United Nations eventually contributed to the UN force, with the US providing around 90% of the military workforce. After about two months of war, the South Korean army and the US quickly dispatched to Korea and, and they were on the edge of defeat. Because of that, they retreated to the Pusan perimeter. On September 1950, in amphibious, meaning water-related, UN counteroffense was launched at Incheon and delayed many KPA troops in South Korea. Those who managed to escape capture and envelopment were, fate, were forced back north. UN forces invaded North Korea on October 1950 and moved quickly towards the Yalu River on the border with China, but on October 19, 1950, Chinese forces of the People's Volunteer Army crossed the Yalu River and entered the war. The surprise of the Chinese triggered a retreat of UN forces, and Chinese forces were in South Korea by late December. In the battle, Seoul was captured four times. Communist forces were pushed back to positions around the 38th parallel, close to where the war started. After this, the front stabilized, and the last two years of fighting became a war of attrition, meaning that the sides were wearing each other down up to the point of collapse. The war in the air, however, was never a standstill. North Korea was a subject to massive U.S. bombing, was subject to a massive U.S. bombing campaign. J 
Jet fighters confronted each other in air-to-air -air combat for the first time ever in history, and Soviet pilots covertly flew in the defense of their communist allies. The war ended on July 27, 1953, when the Korean Armistice Agreement was signed, creating the Korean Demilitarized Zone to separate North Korea from South Korea and allowed the return of prisoners. However, a peace treaty wasn't signed, and the two Koreans are still technically at war with frozen conflict. In April 2018, the leaders of North and South Korea met at the DMZ and agreed to work towards a treaty to formally end the Korean War. The DMZ, the Korean Demilitarized Zone, is 160 miles long, around 250 kilometers long. And roughly 2.2 2 .2 miles wide, around 4 kilometers. Even though the zone is demilitarized, the border beyond it is one of the most heavy, heavily militarized borders in the world. Kind of ironic, huh? Citizens, even Korean citizens, cannot go there. The military only allows wild animals to cross the border. The DMZ is also one of the most longest demilitarized zones in the world. The countries involved in the Korean War were what well, the countries that were on South Korea's side were the United Nations, which contained the United States, United Kingdom, Canada, Turkey, Australia, Philippines, New Zealand, Thailand, Greece, France, Colombia, Belgium, North Africa, the Netherlands, and Luxembourg. North Koreans had the Chinese and the Soviet Union on their side. And so we'll be talking about how the borders changed throughout the war. So when the war was, like before it even started, the the border between North and South Korea was a straight line running right through the middle, and they called that the border. Um, but later when the war started and started getting into more conflict, North Korea invaded South Korea so much that this little tiny blue blob, blob right here is South Korea. And right, the city that they couldn't take, that's Busan. Uh, that was in September 1950. Uh, in December 1950s, things started to really look up for the South Koreans. Apparently, they moved up, and there's Pyongyang. Um, and then, in July 1952, the border came to a finish right here. At the 38th parallel. The, 38th par the border stayed there at the 38th parallel for one year of the war. And so, right here, there's a sign that says you're now crossing 38th parallel. Um, and apparently, I have a piece of wire, a piece of barbed wire from the DMZ. <laughs> Um, it's called the wire fence from the DMZ. So, it was removed on the occasion of the 50th anniversary of the Korean War for the dearest wish of peace of mankind. So, that's, that's the wire fence. So, this is a map of present day Korea. Um, the border is still the same, right there. This down here is Jeju Island, a very famous tourist place. Over here is Tokdo, a very, very tiny island. And it's like, the war has been going on for 70 years. Basically, it's seventy anniversary, um, but that was about the Korean War. Thank you. For
free again. 고맙습니다.